My name is Chao Sun. I became a group leader in Dendrite in 2023. My lab is interested in what happens when neurons in the brain communicate with each other. You can imagine neurons as tiny messengers that constantly receive and send information to other neurons. Each neuron can make over 10,000 connections with other neurons in the brain. With these 10,000 connections, every single neuron is bombarded by information input constantly. Inside these connections, which we call synapses, there is a lot of activity. Each individual synapse is like a tiny factory that is turning information into memory constantly. This is a super-resolution microscope that we use to image and super-resolve proteins within single synapses. And what we put within that microscope are cultures of neurons that we isolate from the hippocampus of rats. We plate them in these dishes. As you can see, there's a, a soup inside to keep them healthy and alive. And what you, um, what you see on the screen is neurons that Sarah is now recording. This is a dendritic branch, and at the moment we are super resolving individual synapses, as we can see here, 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 that have a resolution of 10, 20 nanometers. But here is a catch. Even though the brain can store memories for decades, the molecules in the brain do not last long. Proteins, for example, can only last about a week before they are replaced by new proteins. This constant turnover of molecules in synapses is crucial for brain function, but sometimes things can go wrong. This can lead to severe brain diseases. We are looking at the cell-cell signal in the synaptic cell signal between healthy cells and healthy and tumor cells. Here we have uh, human tissues. This is a uh, tumor core, which means that it's the part where only tumor cells uh, are present. And we have sliced these tissues at 50 micrometers, so they're very thin. In our lab, we're interested in how the brain supplies these vital molecular resources to individual synapses. For example, we're interested in how new proteins are produced at synapses, how old proteins are degraded at synapses. We're also interested in how nutrients and ion signals are maintained at synapses, how energy is produced at synapses. At the moment, we're using a cutting-edge technology that allows us to localize and count individual copies of proteins at synapses. Understanding these processes is important for understanding the molecular basis of neurological disorder, many of which at the moment have no cure. 